As Flight 3 has concluded for the Halo Reach flighting program on Xbox, guys, now our sights have been set to PC. What has 343 taken away from this Flight 3 on Xbox and how it is still time for you to sign up for the PC flight? So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news commentary when it comes to Halo. Today, we're going to be talking about the Flight 3 coming to PC and what 343 is taking from the current flight on Xbox, guys. So, if you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this video and on Flight 3 as well. If you, did you get a chance to play Flight 3? Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything Halo related. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified we do anything on the channel guys so let's get right into the video here so flight 3 has sadly passed for all of us awesome gamers guys i put a lot and i mean a lot of time into the uh flighting program here guys because i want to give you my full experience you know i played a ton of 44s of, of social i played a ton of competitive i played six hours of invasion i played a ton of btb uh, i did miss on the 2v2 day but i mean that's it's 2v2 slayer i mean like it's the same thing right um, and so I wanted to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it and also what 343 got out of it and what you can do to sign up Well, there still is time for flight 3 on PC guys. So my overall experience of flight 3 was pretty damn awesome uh, The gameplay just felt super good um, It just felt like I was playing Halo Reach but with a new coat of paint and it was just awesome It's exactly what I wanted it to be now there were also some uh, some downsides to the whole thing. Uh, there was a weird audio glitch when it came to the XP rankings. There, like after every match, you see the XP part go up, which the XP grind actually did make playing the game a lot more, uh, much more enjoyable for me at least. Uh, but if you cut off that, if you press A to skip that loading screen, the audio would just keep them playing and playing until the next audio uh, XP load screen, which they would cancel each other out. And I found out later on. In the flight that as long as you let that play all the way through the audio would stop playing so that's definitely one issue but i'm sure i think everyone was experiencing that so i know the team at 343 definitely knows about this issue and then there were some iffy server issues where some people dropped out now i don't know if it's they lost connection to the servers or it was uh I saw something, I did come across one game oddly where I was playing and then it said like migrating host and I was like but we're playing on dedicated servers what's the deal with this whole thing uh, it could have been like a fallback plan that maybe failed or something. I don't know. Uh, and then like a lot of people lagged out of a game. It's just weird stuff like that might happen. Or maybe just having a lot of people disconnect randomly will cause the server to reset. I don't know. Uh, so that's my issues I really kind of had with the game. Other than that, like I felt like hit detection was pretty good. Uh, obviously, if I was connecting to like some, you know, East Coast servers, you know, some... Um, Bullets going around the corner, kind of uh, some wanted probes kind of happening there. But I think it just kind of comes with uh, lag compensation and the servers and, and just a laggy kind of nonsense happening right there. I will say another issue was the spawning in the 4v4 modes, especially in the smaller maps like Countdown and Zealot. Some of the spawn points seemed a bit questionable. A lot of times, especially on Countdown, I think I've most of the times where I've come across a lot of those issues. Now, I don't know if that's just the game or if that's uh, something up with the flighting program. Maybe the spawns are not working properly. Uh, there was one spawn in particular that really stood out as a bad one. Where I actually, I was playing against Hidden and Xperia. He was on the red team. I was on the blue team. And it, he, you know, we go around the corner. He, we're, we're kind of battling off a little bit. He snipes me. Yeah, he got the better of me. Big deal there. But then the thing is, is that I spawned out on the balcony. He's jumping literally right in front of me and while I'm spawning. All I had to do was hit right bumper for the back melee and get the kill on him. Like it was an absurd spawn. That was uh, definitely the worst one I've seen of the whole thing. Now that could just be like a one-off. Like I said, it could be just the game. But I do feel like the spawns are a bit iffy, and I think that's because in Reach you spawn with your team. It could have just been one of those weird situations where that teammate I was going to be spawning on was probably in the most logical situation, even though there was a bad guy right next to him. It was just, it was weird. And so that's the one time I've come across the spawn and it was clearly, clearly awful. And with there being a limited player pool that you could play Reach on, then yeah, it was um, understandable, understandable to have a match that might have been a little bit more laggy. Uh, which talking about playing with people, that uh, matchmaking was super fast though, even with such a small player base. Though, uh, I mean, the, the parameters I'm pretty sure were rather loose when it came to matchmaking. Uh, to where I think I don't think there was any skill-based matchmaking when it came to 
uh, social slayer and pretty much everybody in competitive was anywhere from like 15 to zero for ranking score so pretty much everyone was able to find matches i did get up to level 13 i believe or 14 on competitive so i was super proud about that <laughs> and uh it was just a super smooth experience um and i really enjoyed it uh, now there were some issues with it uh like i said i mentioned like the audio glitch issue uh, i did see some issues happening with invasion i think also just in btb in general of entering vehicles where uh, you would be still in first person able to look around and shoot your gun, but you're able to drive the vehicle at the same time uh, I did see someone share this to me on Twitter and I was like that's very odd And you can, you can see it from the third person angle watching someone literally like standing in the vehicle. It looks really weird um, I also did notice this. I don't know if this was a reach thing or something like that But when I was trying went back to record some BTB gameplay and they well, was recording, you know, from first person angle, and then you know when you jump into, I jumped into a ghost, and as you see in a ghost, you go into third person view, right? But the thing was, though, it went to like a unlocked camera angle of third person in theater. It didn't actually stay like the third person angle that you see in game. So I had to kind of like keep angling the camera as my character was moving around. So that was one issue I came across in theater mode. And then other than that, um, it was. Yeah, pretty solid experience. Like, I really enjoyed it. So, um, this, this definitely has me looking forward to Fly 3 on PC, which I'm pretty sure if I'm invited to this flight, I would think I'd be involved with PC. Hopefully, guys. And uh, coming for your PC, guys, we do have some information. And guys, it's not too late to sign up for the Halo Insider program. Go to HaloInsider.com, get a chance to sign up for that. Make sure you link your Steam account and send the PC DXDIAG file which the uh, process to do that will walk you right through the whole thing it's really not that difficult to do um, when you're signing up for the PC version and so I'm hoping I get involved with, with flight 3 on PC guys uh, I definitely will try to stream it if I can if I PC can handle it or if um, you know I can possibly record some gameplay for you guys something like that on PC uh, just because that's the one I'm really looking forward to if I'm gonna be playing reach I'm mainly gonna be playing this on PC and so uh, we get look forward to what the is coming up next for you guys. So like I said, guys, make sure you go on the Halo HaloInsider.com, sign up there. Link is like I said in the description down below. Uh, send them that DXDIG file. And um, they're right, currently right now there is no date at the moment set for this Flight 3 for PC, but I could imagine it happening within a week or two, probably since. Uh, Flight 3 just happened for the Xbox and that ran pretty dang well. And so I would think that uh, right after Flight 3 you would have Flight 3 for PC guys. Um, Sketch actually went on to Waypoint and posted up just a quick little bit of a fire flight or fight flight feedback. Ugh, a lot of apps right there. And I'm just gonna read this for exactly what he said so there's no confusion here guys. As the dust settles on this Xbox flight, the team will shift focus back to PC. The next Halo Reach flight is intended to be multiplayer focused for PC. We don't have timing to share yet, but stay tuned for additional details once we have a locked plan. So you guys got that. And also just make sure that you sign up with the proper email. I did see it quite a few people. In fact, 2000 people worth I saw on Twitter meant, get mentioned about how they were invited to the flight. They just, they weren't verified that they actually got the, the thing. And I did see some people uh, say like, oh, I didn't get invited with the flight. You know, they're like, oh, okay, let me check your email okay well let me check your name or whatever and they said like oh yeah you did sign up you just under a different account because remember you have to sign into halo waypoint and if you don't sign in or link your xbox account in some way you may go to the wrong uh, accounts so that definitely i did see that happen to a few people uh streamer k Mattify was kind of pretty upset not being able to be involved with the flying program but apparently he signed up using his girlfriend's account I, he's like i don't know how i did that but you know it happened, so keep it guys. Make sure you guys sign up with the right account as well. So as I come over the post-traumatic stress syndrome of not being able to play Halo Reach anymore, which it was just so enjoyable, I absolutely loved it. Uh, we get to look forward to Flight Three on PC, guys. Like I said, I'll make sure to make any content I could possibly can for you guys once uh, that flight happens as well. And if you guys are new to the channel, must stay up to date with anything Halo related. Make sure to tap subscribe, guys, and make sure you keep up to date with everything going on with Halo. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out. Double kill.
Triple kill. Killing spree.